How are we doing? Uh, Mr. Carter here. Um, we're going to be doing lesson six, seven today, um, where we are going to be doing partial quotient division. We're going to start with our math message, which is on the screen here. It says Lillian, sorry, Lillian needs to buy 112 bottles of water for the school party. The bottles come in packs of four. How many packs should she buy? Be prepared to explain how you know. So here is what we know. I'm, uh, now I'm over here on the side. We are. Uh, we know that we need 112 uh, bottles, and the bottles come in packs of four. So there's a couple ways we could do that. So we can uh, start with repeated subtraction. That's a strategy where you would start with 112, and then you would just take away four. Um, every time until you get to zero packs of water. So we could, so like it would be 112 take away four, that would be 108. And then you would take away four again, and then you would just count how many bottles you have, one bottle, two bottles, until you get to zero. So that takes a long time. Um, so what we're gonna do today is uh, learn how to do dividing using partial quotients. So uh, what we do is we're going to take 112 and we're going to divide that by 4. So I'm building my division problem here on my camera. So uh, we are building our division problem here using this model here with what I call the side thing. So we um, are going to now put numbers here on our side thing that are friendly. So like I like, for example, enjoy the number... Uh, multiples of 10, so I'm going to go with 20, and I know that 20 times 4 gets me 80. So I'm going to subtract 80 from 112, uh, and that's going to give me 32, and I'm just fast forwarding here. Of course, you would need a trade, and uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going through the process of division, but the answer here is 32. So I know that 4 times 8 gets me 32 exactly. So I'm going to put 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Oops, sorry. 32. Put the 3 here to show you. 32, which gets us to 0. Now once we hit our 0, uh, we add the side numbers here on the side thing. So 20 plus 8 is 28. So the answer to this is 28. So that, my friends, is called partial quotients. So now I'm back over here. Let's do a couple more examples of that. Um, so if we move on to the next screen. So here. There we go. Okay, so let's go right here, and we're going to have another problem. Sorry about the delay on that. I was trying to figure out my screen. So now we're good. Uh, we're going to go to the next problem, which is saying Corey bought 162 stickers to put in gift bags. She wants uh, each gift bag to contain six stickers. So we're going to have to go 162 divided by six. So again, I'm going to set up my partial quotient. So 162 divided by 6. And before we even do that, I'm going to write an estimate here. So I'm going to estimate um, to find an estimate. Again, we want to have friendly numbers. So if I'm doing, so our, sorry, let me just move down here. If our um number here is 162 divided by 6. I'm going to round that to 150. And then I'm going to take this, and I know that 6 is also close to 5. So I'm going to go 150 divided by 5, because I know that 5's, anything that ends with a 0 will be divisible evenly by 5. So that, so I ask myself, what times 5 gets me 150? Well, that would be 30. So our estimate here is 30. So now going back to the uh, partial quotients problem. So I'm going to start again with 20. 
because uh, I know that 20 times 6 is 120. So we're trying to get to that zero. We're trying to get it down to that zero. So two take away zero is two. Six take away four is, oh, sorry, six take away two is four. That leaves me with 42. Well, I know my times tables and I know that seven times six gets me 42. Exactly, so six times seven is 42. And that right there brings me to zero. Again, I put a small piece in zero just because it's fun. And then I add my side thing, 20 plus seven, is 27. So our answer is 27, which is close to our estimate. So that makes sense. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to the journal page uh, 206. We're going to do one of the problems in there for you. Uh, so the first problem, it's for all, first of all, it's asking you to write an estimate uh, and then write a number model to represent the problem using then using partial quotients to solve. So there are 184 plants to put into pots. Each pot um, can hold eight plants. How many pots are needed? Well, I'm gonna skip the estimate just for a second. I'm gonna go right to the number model, which is 184. Divide that by eight. And let's put our unknown as P for pots. Now I'm gonna do our estimate. So now that I see the number model, I'm gonna make an estimate out of that. So I know that 184 is close to 200, and I know that eight is close to 10. So I'm gonna go 200 divided by 10 would equal uh, 20. So our estimate's 20 pots. So now I'm going to do my partial quotients down here. Uh, 184 divided by 8. So I'm going to start with, let's do 20 again. 20 times 8 is 160. Again, just to speed up the process here, it's the answer there is 24. And I know that 3 times 8 gets me 24, which gets me to 0. When you add your side thing here, you get 23. So our answer is 23 pots. They're asking how many plants are left over? There are no plants left over. We didn't have a remainder here. So the answer to that is zero plants. All right, so uh, go ahead and do the rest of your journal page um, on your own. Uh, see how that goes. If you have questions, um, feel free to ask me a question. Have a good day.